everyone, my name is Brooke Runge. I'm a senior from St. Louis studying mechanical engineering and math with a minor in aerospace engineering. Hi, my name is Anton Kim. I am a senior from Columbia, Missouri studying mechanical engineering and have a minor in mathematics as well. Today we're going to take you on a virtual tour through LACRI. Follow us. Okay, as you can see coming into the building, we've put in um, a lot of different safety precautions to help keep our students safe during this time of the pandemic. For example, we have hand sanitizing stations set up everywhere. Um, all of the doors are either anchor only or exit only, and all of the hallways are one way um, as well. Um, Mizzou has definitely put in lots of different guidelines just to make sure all the students are safe. We've also got social distancing rules in place and everyone has to wear, wear um, a face covering at all times as well. So this right here is a common area. We call it the time capsule because there's an actual time capsule in there. Um, it was put in in 1991, um, and then 50 years later, so it'll be 20, 2041, uh, we'll open it up. Inside the time capsule, it has a lot of uh, calculators, old engineering equipment, um, newspapers, and times of that era. So this is our student organization workshop. So this is currently uh, housed by the Mizzou Education Program, and down there, uh, three different print classes using it as well. Um, so both MSP and 3D Print did make their own separate videos for you guys to watch if you want a little bit more information about e each of those organizations. Um, next, we're going to head back down the hallway and up, step up the steps into the main part of the building. right now the career services office. Um, career services is what helps you develop professionally um, and helps you gain leadership skills as well. Every semester they put on a career fair and they'll help review your, your resume and stuff like that. Um, we've got a separate video that you can watch specifically about student success. So move in here a little bit. You can see the floor is getting a little bit shinier and change a different color. Um, that's because we're in the brand new renovated space of Lafferty Hall. So this renovation was done and completed in 2016. It was $38.5 million, so it's all funded by the state. So this renovation brought in a lot of resources for students as well. So over here, you can see a lot of study rooms. Um, when they're open, students can go in at any time, do their homework, do projects, study, and um, do whatever they need to do for their classes. Um, so now we're coming up on the 3D print lab. This lab is actually different than the 3D print club that we just visited, um, but this lab is utilized a lot by professors in their research or often students in their, like, their capstone labs. Um, one super cool thing to highlight about this lab is that it really encourages collaboration on a large campus such as Mizzou. Um, so for example, we once partnered with the medical school to help um, a little girl who had a deformation in her spine. Um, so the doctor actually came to us at the College of Engineering and asked us to print a 3D prototype of her spine. The doctor then practiced the surgery on her spine, on the printed version, I'm sorry, and it reduced the number of surgeries from 11 down to two, which is super cool. And then continuing on with more resources, over here we have a brand new computer lab. So there's 80 Macs in there. Um, so this is all available to students, so if it's open without classes, students can go in, do their homework, do their projects, do uh, whatever they need to do to complete their education and schoolwork. Um, so right up the steps behind us are the doors to the quad. The columns are right there. It's pretty much like the best spot on campus to have a, to have a building, which is kind of cool. Um, but also up here in this area is our Potential Energy Cafe, um, which is a coffee shop just for us engineering students here. And then over across this study space, we have um, the Student Engagement Center, which is run by the Mizzou Engineering Student Council. We have videos that you can watch of both of these as well. So behind me is the undergraduate computer lab. This is where a lot of students go to work with their classmates, peers, lab partners, um, whoever it might be. Um, all the software in there is available to all the students and it's typically open 24 seven. And then behind me, we have a bunch of fun paraphernalia from Engineers Week. So Engineers Week, it's basically homecoming, but for engineering students. Um, we do have a separate video for you to learn a little bit more about this. Um, next, we're gonna head on up the steps. So 
So we're in one of the engineering department wings. So as you walk down the hallway, you can see a lot of doors. So these are a lot of lab spaces and office for these professors. Um, a great thing about Mizzou Engineering is that all professors are required to have office hours for their classes. So this is where they leave the office doors open where any students can come in, ask questions about the lecture, homework, exams, anything like that. Um, it's a really good resource because these professors are wanting to help students get further along with their careers and with their education. Um, so personally, lots of my professors are holding office hours over Zoom nowadays instead of face-to-face, -face, just as like an added precaution. Um, but you can still really tell that these professors really care about you and about your success here at the college, which is a really cool thing. Um, so kind of the area we're entering now, we're going to talk about student involvement a little bit. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can get involved as a student here at Mizzou Engineering. Um, we have over 50 student organizations that you can get involved with. Here are two of them right here, the Concrete Canoe and the Steel Bridge Team. Um, but there's over 50 that you can choose from, so surely there's one that you'll be interested in. Um, another way you can get involved is through undergraduate research, and also studying abroad is an option that's available. These, these three things all look a little different um, right now, but there's still plenty of ways to get involved as a student. Okay, one really cool thing you can get involved with here on campus is undergraduate research. Um, so one really cool thing about Mizzou Engineering is that you don't actually have to wait until graduate school to get this experience. Um, you can get involved in a lot of different ways. You can reach out to your professors. Um, we've got a website that details all the projects that everyone's working on. And we even have an entire office here on campus dedicated to undergraduate research. We also have a lot of really, really cool projects happening in this college specifically. For example, this lab that I'm standing in front of has a giant laser, which is super awesome. <laughs> We've also got lots of like cutting edge biomedical research happening. We've got research with giant neurons going on. Um, the burnout lab was developed here, which is pretty cool. And lots of cool VR, AR, cutting edge technology. Um, so next we're gonna head on this one. So walking down this hall a little bit more, uh, there's still a lot more resources available, like the study room. So there's study rooms in multiple floors. Um, even during these COVID times, a lot of students are still able to get their education, their experiences within college. So that's really nice. And, and moving down here, this is our capstone lab. So this is a really nice space for all those uh, engineering students who are about to graduate. Um, this is completely funded by Brenda McDonald, which is an engineering company here in Missouri, and especially in Kansas City. Um, there's a lot of tables, chairs, equipment here. It's all modular, so you can rearrange the room however they like. So a lot of Capstone students will come in here with their groups, uh, change the room layout to kind of fit their needs. Um, so now we're going to head over to the Engineering Library, which is one of the last stops on our tour. We'll see y'all there. So what we have behind us here is the Engineering Library. Um, it's a really great resource that we have here at the college. It's one of the only buildings on the entire campus that has its own library specific to engineering students. Um, in here we've got computers, more study rooms, um, different technology that you can check out if you need it. We've also had um, companies come in here and conduct their interviews in here. All in all, it's just a really great resource to be able to utilize. All right, so we have one more special stop. Uh, follow us there. Thank you for joining us on this virtual tour of Lafferty Hall. If you have any questions, please visit our engineering website. We hope to see you here soon.